This week, Arsene Wenger forgets where he kept the receipt for Petr Cech. This Villa fan forgets how to use his legs. And Paolo Wanchop forgets who is supposed to be fighting and why. Welcome to Three Minutes Added On, the home of football satire. Last week, the predictions for the Premier League title were cast by pundits, journalists and a smattering of bankrupt ex-footballers. We looked at predictions from Sky Sports, the BBC, The Guardian, The Telegraph, The Daily Mail, IB Times and The Independent. Of the 76 predictions, 59 thought Chelsea would retain the title, 8 tipped Arsenal to win it, 6 backed City and 3 backed United. Surprised? Well, we were. Firstly, with a whopping 78% back in Chelsea, that's startling considering no team has retained the title since 2009. Secondly, Arsenal were overwhelmingly predicted to finish second. Arsenal haven't finished in the top two since 2005. This seems even more unlikely when you remember that City haven't finished outside the top two since 2011. Yet the most telling stat of all was the fact that only once in the last six years have pundits' average predictions correctly indicated the Premier League winner. But these aren't the predictions that matter. What we want to know is how long will it take Gary Neville to undermine Jamie Carragher on Monday Night Football? At what point will Ed Chamberlain actually lean across and kiss Thierry Henry on the lips? And will this be the season we actually hear Mark Sager's head explode live on air? I hope so. Newcastle new boy Chancellor Mbemba turned up for his debut wearing a tux in Newcastle. Which is ironic really, bearing in mind that Newcastle is the shell suit capital of the UK and he's playing for an owner who's made millions out of selling very, very cheap socks. BT decided to open their season by broadcasting footage of Harry I write like a two-year-old red nap, looking like a tit, talking like a tit, and sitting like a tit. Was that supposed to be an impression of Paolo Di Canio? No wonder they had to apologise so profusely. Memphis Depay actually left the house looking like this last week. I, I don't know what to say. Sky Sports News has started using football manager stats to help illustrate its pieces on potential new signings. They include percentiles on pace, technique and work rate, but why stop there? I'd like to know his propensity to racial abuse an opponent or the brittleness of his toenails and the length of time it takes him to digest a pork pie. Ever wanted to see what coming down to worth looks like? Well here's West Brom's record signing Rondon at 8pm on Monday night. And here he is 20 minutes later. Yeah. I'd blame Yaya if I was you, mate. We're three minutes added on. Thanks for watching.